Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Eric Yee TV. My name is Eric Yee, and today I was supposed to have an unboxing for you for my very first time, a true unboxing. I actually had this item sitting out uh, because I really wanted to save it for you guys, but unfortunately, fate had other, um, had, what's that word? Uh, they had other plans for me and so I had filmed the whole entire video and when I went to go upload it to my computer Somehow some way the memory card was corrupted or something and the video was deleted So anyway, I'm here with a fake unboxing as usual It's very on brand for me because I usually have no patience, but I'm so I don't think you guys understand like I was so excited to um, unbox it with you guys and it was a first impression video like actually me pulling it outside of the box But anyway, what I ordered was something from Telfar. I was able to get something from a drop uh, If you guys don't know what Telfar is, Telfar is a brand, a luxury brand made by Telfar Clemens It's a small luxury brand based out of New York, established in 2005, and so I'm really excited. Since they've been established since 2005, they've really uh, received a lot of publicity and a lot of traction uh, these last two to three years, and so I we, uh, bleh, we're kind of late to the party, but better late than never, and I'm so excited uh, to show you guys what we got. It is their famous shopping bag. I'm not gonna even try to hide it or anything like that, but I do want you guys to pause the video and let me know what color you think uh, we got. And since Telfar's shopping bags are a unisex brand, my girlfriend and I actually share the bags. Uh, we have three other colors. Uh, we have the navy, the olive green, and the bubblegum pink. I personally would never use the bubblegum pink Never say never, but I usually uh, wear the navy green one or the navy one. And they're just really easy to wear, super stylish, super trendy, super simple. And I think that's what makes the bag so great. I'll leave some videos in the, in the description below about Telfar Clemens and the history of where he came from and how he has persevered through the years to keep on continuing with his brand. But anyway, Let's get started. So it came in this box. Everything that I crossed out is my address, the tracking number, anything that does not need to be on the internet. But this is it. It's very thin. Uh, the shopping bags are very tiny. But originally it comes with this plastic bag. It does say Telfar, established 2005, New York City. And then this is the dust bag that the bag was originally in with the Tefar Clemens logo. I actually really like the logo. It's pretty cool. It's very simple, but uh, this is what it was. So this, okay, wait, rewind. So the bag was in the dust bag and then this bag was inside the Ziploc bag. And so this is essentially what it looked like when you first unbox it. Like I said, <laughs> Uh, Fate had other plans for me, and so it is what it is. Um, this is the packing slip. I paid $162.57, so the bag retail is $150 for the small shopping bag, and with tax, it came out to $162.57. It's really nice because you don't have to pay for shipping, which shipping is always such a turnoff, but luckily, we don't have to pay shipping. So anyway, um, with Telfar Drops, it's completely random. I subscribe to the email list, and so he's really good at pretty much essentially uh, doing email blasts on what the new color is or if a color is dropping. And so we essentially got the last three drops, well, four including this one. So this is the bag that we got. It is the copper color in the small shopping bag. It's really, really cool. It has like this um, metallic sheen to it. It's really, really nice. I can't tell if you can get it from the color or it, but eh. I can't tell if the color is translating well through the camera, but it's like this really nice light champagne uh, rose. 
and it just, like I said, has this metallic sheen to it. It is vegan leather. The bag is super, super tiny, you guys. I know, like, other YouTubers and other videos are out there. Please watch it because I don't think anybody really, really expects it to be this tiny, regardless of all the videos and all the photos that you see because when I first got this bag or the first small shopping bag, I was shocked. I mean, I've seen countless of YouTube videos and pictures and videos and I was like, oh, it does look small, but I think I can get away with it. When it first came in, I was literally uh, at lost for words, but honestly, once you start filling it up, it's quite spacious. It's just one huge pocket. I will say with the Telfar Clemens logo, there's a secret pocket right here. For what? I don't know. Don't ask me. Maybe like you could maybe fit like an Advil. I don't know. But this is it. This is the bag. I believe it's four inches in height, six inches this way, and about three inches the, the depth of it. Um, but this is literally the bag. We have, like I said before, the navy, the olive green, and then the bubblegum pink. So this is just the newest one to add to the collection. I really like Telfar Clemens bags only because the price point is not that bad for something that's so fashion forward. And honestly, there's a myriad of colors that you can experiment with. I mean, considering you just have to get it with the drop. So if you want like a bright blue bag or a bright pink bag, it's only $150. I get that price is subjective and it's a tricky conversation to talk about. But compared to, you know, the other brands that we buy, it's better than, it's better to spend $150 on a colorful or an experimental bag versus spending $4,000 on, you know, a Chanel or a Louis Vuitton and then never using it. You know what I mean? So I really like Telfar Clemens for, you know, making the bag at such a great price point. But I really, really do think that this bag is an androgynous bag. It's very unisex to me. I think it's very... It could be styled as a very masculine bag, and so I really encourage everybody to get a Telfar Clemens bag um, and just to support a small luxury brand that is c coming huge in the world, you know? From what I know about Telfar Clemens is that, you know, they collaborated with White Castle, uh, collaborated with UGG recently and they've also collaborated with Converse so you know this luxury brand especially in our time and age with our generation is so huge like street wise and so with all the colors and everything you can uh, you can match it with sneakers and jackets like so many different ways you can style a Telfar Clemens bag and recently he started to come out with duffel and you know different things to you know keep the brand's dna but kind of keep that innovation going and that momentum running and that's what i really appreciate about telfar clemens but anyway i will say that the bag drop it's more of a shoulder bag less of a crossbody bag um the only bad thing about the top handle is that the because i'm assuming it's vegan leather the straps kind of stick they you have to really really warm them up and kind of wear them out before they start to become a little bit more fluid but other than that i would really give this bag an 8 out of 10. um but you see like do you see what i mean like it would be really cute as a top handle but then you just have like these spider legs coming out and to me i am not a fan of that and then you can't even put it in one direction because of it. But my other bags, once they loosen up, like I said, the fluidity becomes more apparent and then it starts to lay a little bit more nicely. But when it comes straight out of the box, it's very, very, very tough. It sticks just like this. But like I said, I think it's really cute as a top handle once the straps become a little bit more fluid and then you can also tuck the straps in. I like to wear it as a crossbody. Obviously, it's a little bit more masculine that way, but then it sits right above my hip. And then you can also wear it as a shoulder bag, which I think is probably the best way to wear it uh, casually. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna cut my head off right here um, because that's literally all that you guys need. But this is literally how I wear my Telfar bag for a man. Sorry, guys, my dog. He's crying over here. Okay, so this is how I wear my Telfar Clemens bag. I literally will wear it just a plain white t-shirt, a blazer, 
Um, and then I like to wear my crossbody bag under my jacket uh, instead of over because I don't like how sometimes it clashes with, you know, the lapels or anything like that or the buttons of a jacket. So I literally will wear it like this and I think it's really understated. I think it's quite masculine. I think from what I know looks good. Obviously, everybody has different opinions. Everybody styles things differently, but this is literally how I would wear it. I have my dad jeans that I bought from Walmart for literally $10. This Zara jacket is just my lazy everyday blazer that I will wear with everything. It's a little bit longer in the arms, a little bit slouchy in the shoulders, and I really, really like that just because it gives that juxtaposition of a blazer, but it makes it a little bit more casual but dressed up at the same time, if that makes sense. I'm a huge fan of white t-shirts under anything. The white t-shirt combo uh, literally makes me feel very comfortable. I feel like it can be dressed up and dressed down exactly like this. And then I have this belt that is horrendously damaged, so don't judge it. But this is what the outfit looks like up close. This is the Telfar Clemens shopping bag in small, and I really, really like it, um, but literally, 10 out of 10, I like it, aesthetic is there, uh, like I said, but 8 out of 10 just because it's so stiff at first and I wish that the leather somehow would be softer, but other than that, I really like how this looks and I think that it is a great bag to have in anybody's collection. I really hope you guys enjoyed my <laughs> unboxing video that it completely failed. I am. Honestly, 100% heartbroken about it. I think it would have been really cool to have got to my first impressions of the bag and etc. But of course, uh, I guess we will save that experience for a later time. Please comment, please like, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate the support uh, that I receive from this channel. I'm really excited to continue to do more of these. Um, but if you guys have any questions whatsoever, drop a comment down below. And I'll talk to you guys soon.